Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Uh, as promised, this is the other unit from Tech21 NYC. This is the um, Flyrig 5 version 2. So we have the unit here. Um, this, of course, is the Flyrig version two, uh, very different from the uh, Flyrig uh, Richie Cousin RK five uh, version two. Okay, what we have from the from the right to the left is uh, the Plexi, where you can actually uh, switch between the Plexi, which is the Marshall, and if you were to depress this, this will switch to a California or a, a 70s American amp. Right, so I'll, I'll tell you the difference later on. Uh, then we have the boost, where in this case you do not have a compressor. In this case, you have a option to have the boost uh, pre or post, pre or post. So it's up to you to select, right? And then we have the blonde or tuner. A uh, blonde means um, you know you can actually turn off the whole sense amp, amp uh, preamp, and then if you were to depress or uh, hold down, you have. Or the tuner mode, all right. Again, uh, I love the tuner. Uh, it's very responsive, very accurate. Um, to exit the tuner, just hold back. So this is a delay, and again, the uh, adjustments are the same as the RK5. Uh, you have level, uh, repeats, and time. And uh, to on and to turn on and off the delay, just merely press the switch. Now here we have the tap and reverb so you can have the tap tempo and of course if you uh, hold on to it 
the delay, the reverb will come on, turn off the reverb, just hold on to it and the reverb will be turned off. So in this case, I have the reverb on. Uh, again, for the reverb, you have a selection of sizes. So uh, here you go, same. Um, once it's off, it's a small room. If you turn it on, if you, if, you, if you press it, it will be like a, a medium room. And then of course the level of the reverb. Now, the only difference with the delay here, uh, as opposed to the RK5, is you have a eighth note selection here. In this case, when I'm doing um, like a tap tempo, one, two, three. So you, you, you get what I mean? So it repeats, so it gives you the eighth note. You can double the time, basically, right? Uh, initially, I would, uh, for me, um, my preference, I would turn it off because <laughs> I don't want to confuse myself. And you get to my age, you get easily confused. <laughs> All right, so that's about it uh, for, of course, you had the XR where you can activate, if you, if you depress this, uh, this will activate the ground uh, switch. Uh, in case you have grounding problems, you can just turn it on, right? The ground lift. Okay, let's just go through the clean sound first. So this is with the... Again, you have to drive here. And this is the boost. Uh, in this case, I'm having it uh, pre. So this boost will be right here where it is right now. Pretty neat. Uh, if you have it post, Just mix it louder, okay? Basically, just mix it louder. So uh, I have it on pre because I want that extra edge. Now this is the uh, Plex C. This is the foot switch for uh, the activation of the well, we call it the drive unit. So you can have a selection of um, the Marshall type of uh, distortion. Uh, if you turn it on, this will be the 70s American Boutique M thing. Marshall. So this, this uh, there's a there's a tonal difference uh, in this uh, two selection of the uh, preamps that you are given the options to choose. Now, if you turn on the boost, this is the uh, the plexi. This is the Kelly. With the delay. This 
is the plexi. So I find that the um, the difference between these two modes, the plexi, well, the Marshall sounding amp, and the American boutique amp, the Kelly, are the Kelly has a little bit more of a rounder edge, uh, more slightly more mids, uh, a little bit less high as well. So the uh, Marshall has a little bit of a scoop in the mid and uh, pretty, yeah, it has a high end, which is pretty pretty cutting, which is really good, you know, if you're doing rhythm. So. It's a good variation depending on what you want. So this unit is very different from the Richie Kotzen RK5 version 2. In this unit, you have the inclusion of a effect center return, in which you can hook up to a chorus unit or a tremolo or whatever. Um, the effects and send is after the preamp section of this unit. Now the preamp section has changed. Uh, it sounds very different from the preamp section in the RK5. Um, the drive is the most prominent change because here you have a choice of a plexi which is like you know like a Marshall kind of amp and uh, a Marshall sounding uh, kind of, uh, of, a, of, a, of a drive and a Cali which is like a 70s uh, American um, boutique amp you know so there is a whole there's a, there is a tonal change uh, not a whole lot but there is subtleties to it and you can actually tell the difference and which gives you further versatility uh, in your selection of tones and uh, for the boost instead of having a compressor you have a, a option to go uh, pre or post so you can have a pre or uh, pre preamp uh, boost or a post preamp boost in which case it just makes the whole thing louder uh, you can have it pre uh, in which case you can drive the preamp section a little bit more and uh, you know get a nice overdriven sound and uh, you also have the option of having this uh, uh, speaker simulated out uh, from the quality inch instead of from the XR if you plug directly into the XR it's automatically uh, switched to uh, speaker simulation out so Oh, there's the inclusion of a eighth note uh, option for your delay, meaning you you don't have to like you know go you just have to go one, two, and the delay will go that 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 that. So it's go one, two, that 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 that. that. So there's an eighth note um, option for you. And uh, apart from that, the uh, the reverb are the same. You can have a selection of a small room or a medium sized room. Uh, tuners, you know, the tuners are you know. As I say, it's a, it's a great inclusion uh, in this uh, fly rig, and it works. And I really like the tuner; it's, it's responsive and it's accurate. Um, and then you have the drift, where you can add a little bit of a chorus effect on your on your delay, you know, your your, your effects uh, uh, delay uh, signal, you know. So you can have a little bit of a chorusy effect to that. So I kind of like this unit. If I'm not uh, been so enthralled by the OMG um, drive sound, I probably would get this unit because it's more versatile. But I just can't get away from the OMG uh, drive sound because I, I, I think Richie Kazan and Tech 21 knew it, and I really like the overdriven sound from that that drive unit. And um, I can live without the um, the selection of pre and post uh, on the boost section. I, I I would rather have a compressor there. You know, that that's a really good nice inclusion. Um, the comparison between these two is like you know um, a whole lot, you know, a whole lot of difference. So it depends on which uh, uh, unit suits your needs. Um, if I were to play, say, uh, if I want to use my other time-based uh, stomp pedals, like you know my tremolo or my my uni vibe or you know my, my chorus, I'll probably get this because I have the option to patch it in. But if I'm happy with just a bare, uh, you know, the, the, the bare uh, necessities of, of, say, an amp with a delay and, and a reverb and distortion unit, I'm fine with the Richie Kozen or RK5 version 2. Um, so it depends on what you what you want to achieve and what sort of scenarios are you using these units for, right? So uh, let me know what you think. Um, I'll be um, quite interested to find out what you guys achieve, think. I want to thank uh, Abenex, uh, David from Abenex for um, providing me these units for the review. Um, 
it's available in Singapore right now, so um, I'll put a price down in the address of the shop. Or uh, I think you can order online too, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, give me a thumbs up and uh, join this channel. You know, join this channel. And uh, I'll see you again in the next video. So you guys take care. I'll be the Zen.